Hi, everybody. I'm Peter Clausey. Welcome back to Investor Intel. Very excited to be talking about a project that's new to me, but has been in the market for a while. Durango Resources in Quebec. With us today is the CEO, Marcy Kiesman. Hi, Marcy. Good morning. How are you, Peter? Good. We seem to have about a second lag. So as we talk, I'll make room for you to speak because I'm very curious of what the company is up to. Sounds great. So DGO on the Venture Exchange, a gold company in Quebec, and you're up beside one of my favorites, which is Troilus Gold. Tell us about your project. Okay, great. Yeah, so basically Durango is a junior exploration company. We're actively exploring in two of the most exciting gold camps, which are both situated in Quebec. Um, we've got Windfall Lake and then up near just north of Shibugamu, uh, Troilus Gold is our discovery project up there. So that project has become more and more interesting recently. I'm not sure if you're aware, uh, Troilus just acquired and took over Urban Gold Minerals. Yeah. So now Troilus is our immediate neighbor and they are tagged on to the north side of our project, our discovery. So, um, so at discovery, you just sent a field team out, right? So, yeah, we just sent a field team out because we are um, had them at Windfall Lake. So we sent them on a little bit of a tour on the way home. <laughs> So I wanted to make sure just over the winter, because we haven't been up there, I wanted to make sure with the rains and the snow and whatnot that the roads were all still in good condition so we could get up there this summer. Um, we've been doing a lot of um, off-season work from our computers and mapping, and we've had some AI done on the project. So I just wanted to make sure where we were planning to go with our AI and our previous results that we've had in the past that the... Uh, where there's areas where they kind of correlate and line up. So we want to get back up there and do some stripping and hopefully some drilling this summer to see um, what lies below surface. So yeah, set them up just to make sure the roads are in tip top shape. And thank goodness they are. <laughs> are you taking any samples on this uh, uh, field trip to Discovery? No, no samples this time. It's all just recon and checking road conditions and access for potential um, drill holes. We've already put in the permits for the areas that we wanted to access and we've received all the permits. So we're good now until uh, March 31st, 2022, I guess it will be. But that's at the other property, your NMX East property, not at Discovery. No, Discovery, we have our permits as well. Oh, we put good. In for 15, 15 holes there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So we've, we're all permitted and ready to go. So we just wanted to make sure... Where we wanted to go was totally accessible before we get up there and have any surprises. <laughs> so when we go up next time, we'll go do, we're going to be doing some prospecting and some stripping and um, basically doing some pretty extensive mapping where we found the six and seven grams per ton gold at surface. We had these uh, quartz veins in the basalt, which is um, similar to, by the sounds of it, what's happened at uh, Ken Orland last summer where they were, had that um, nice discovery. So we're going to go and do a little bit more poking around on our discovery project to see if we can follow their footsteps. <laughs> so you've got your permits. Uh, is it hard finding a drill team? Uh, yes and no. If you get some of the smaller drill companies, um, we know a company that has potential to access another drill. They're looking at potentially buying another drill if they can get enough um, work and projects so we're hoping we can provide them with the work and then they can purchase another drill and um, get drilling. It has been a little difficult in the last six months because of COVID and also just the finding the actual drillers to come and drill. But now that it's summertime, I think people will be a little bit more uh, interested in leaving their couches and not collecting their monthly so they can go out and make some money. In the winter in Quebec, I understand it. <laughs> So drilling costs money. What's your treasury look like? So this program that we're just finishing up at Windfall is all totally funded and ready to go. And we've had all that done. We'll probably be looking at uh, raising a little bit more because we're looking at also poking a couple holes in our lithium project up near Namaska. We would do that the same time as we do the discovery, just because they're not very far apart on, on the same road. We just go a little further north and it's there. Um, so we'll probably be either getting hopefully either getting warrants exercise would be great because we've got a bunch of warrants outstanding we've got a bunch of assays we're still waiting for so if all works well we can get those warrants exercise and then we won't have to worry about money for a long time otherwise we may go back to the market and raise a little this summer here what are the warrants exercisable at um 
between uh, 12 and a half and 15. That's, did, an easy, uh, that's easy. You're at eight now. A little bit of good news. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of good news will hopefully go a long way. <laughs> now, one thing I do want to note about Durango, if if only even in passing, is it is a female-empowered company. You've done it, made deliberate choices to populate the leadership positions with women. And I, I you know, it's hard to talk about this without sounding like a doink. And I don't want to sound like a doink, but congratulations to you for the empowerment. Well, thanks. We're trying to create a, as, as diversified as we can of a mining company. Um, we've not only got women, they're very um, successful women. There's lawyers who are also on other public companies. We've got uh, ladies from First Nations background. We're trying to be as well diversified as possible, trying to empower women. We all know it's uh, it's been a bit of a grind in the mining industry, but it's actually this last while I've noticed there's a, a pretty great awakening for um, the mining world and the women getting involved and we're all working hard and trying hard to put our name on something positive and something good and um, we put our money where our mouth is and we're trying to make some nice discoveries. Right you've written checks to the company as has the rest of the leadership team. Yeah yeah we we put our like I said we put our money where our mouth is so um, there's kind of uh, what do we say um, we have uh, if we want to reach new heights we have to reach for the depths in our own beliefs. So that's kind of kind of how we go. If you want to have everybody else write checks, you better be writing your check first. I don't uh, don't expect you or anyone else to write a check if I'm not doing the same thing. So, so let's arrange to talk when the assays come back because they will inform our knowledge of the property and we'll talk about all the warrants that have been exercised and how life is different at 30 cents a share. How's that? Amen. <laughs> Durango <laughs> Resources. Mercy Keesman, CEO and Chair. Good luck. I'm Peter Clausey signing off from Investor Intel. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks, Peter.